Hello everybody and welcome back to Xenotic. Today we've got a good one. Wolf Snipe vs Drainer on Erevum. It's a map that many people have played in Deathmatch and Clan Arena. Very popular over there. Less popular in Duel, but here we're about to see how it plays out between two pretty closely matched up duelers. We're going to be on Wolf Snipe's POV for this one and Drainer is going to get the first frag. So opening it up fairly reasonably, came around that corner and managed to pin Wolf Snipe into the back. Wolf Snipe without the weaponry for that specific engagement and just wasn't able to land enough machine gun shots. Drainer getting bounced up and a beautiful shot there from Wolf Snipe actually. That was very crispy clean. Drainer just sat trying to get back some health. Wolf Snipe not in the best position either, so he doesn't want to push in too hard. Drainer's going to be playing, just trying to get some of these items. They should be up in a second, these major items. We don't get the luxury on this demo of seeing when they're up. But Wolf Snipe has the Mega. It's one to one at about a minute and a half in. A nice air shot there from Wolf Snipe. Decent prediction. But not going to actually land it. Drainer now. Trying to get away. Pushing in and out. Trying to go through. Doesn't want to go through the teleporter. For fear of getting trapped on the other side of it up here. And a nice air shot. Very clean air shots here coming from Wolf Snipe. Opening up a little bit of a gap, but coming out of it with very little health. Going to be struggling in to get some get some health back, but finds the mega so it's all good for him. Definitely landing good shots right now, Wolf Snipe. Really punishing slight over positioning from Drainer. These two are some of the best uh some of the most active duelers at the very least. People have different opinions on who's the best right now, but these guys are definitely up there with the most active. It does help their case for being the best. Because you've at least got to play, I think. No kills for a minute, but... Wolf Snipe's not too worried. He's currently in the lead, but that's going to put a little bit of a shock into him. Goes in to try and take the Mega. Drain has managed to pinch it and out of ammo for the Devastator and Mortar. You rarely run out of ammo in Xenotic, but when you do, you're going to run out for a couple of weapons at the same time. And that can be a little bit of a problem. Especially if you're Wolf Snipe and you can't seem to find any ammo for it. There is a little bit just over there, but sometimes you just don't notice it because you're so used to not having to go for the ammo. But spamming out so much in this map as Wolf Snipe is. Oh, nice, nice uh, hearing Drainer coming up behind and managing to get up and out of the way of those shots coming in from the side. Wolf Snipe playing a very defensive sort of game right now. Drainer not being so aggressive, trying to stay safe, trying to keep out of the way and doing a good job of keeping himself safe. Wolf Snipe gets a very nice through the teleporter rail and finisher with the rocket launcher. Three kills in a row there from Wolf Snipe. We're coming up to halfway. Drainer's definitely still in this one. Hasn't relinquished full control. Wolf Snipe's not been able to run away the map, but managing to get a few kills. It's still a fairly close game, and the speed, we know from the start of this map, that the speed of this map can be very high. I haven't particularly seen it much in Duel, however, so I can't really fully tell you how it could play out. So this is... I'm interested in this map myself to see how it plays out because I've always seen it uh, played in deathmatch but never actually 
and got around to playing it myself in a duel. It's a very pretty map though. And there's the halfway point. And Drainer had did pull one back, we saw. Pretty decent fight. Drainer on the aggressive side, hearing the, hearing the five minute to go warning. Does put a little bit of a. Puts a stick up your bum. Lights a fire underneath you sometimes. Especially if you're in a 5 2 position. Definitely doable three kills, five minutes. But Wolf Snipe. He's playing on the side, he's trying to pull himself away from it. Very nice shot there. Oof. That's uh that's another position you want to find yourself in completely out of any hiding places and just taking the shots. Nice prediction there from Wolf Snipe Drainer. Gonna find it beneath through the teleporter. Wolf Snipe appears to know this map fairly well, it seems. But Drainer certainly isn't entirely new. Good shots coming out though for both of these players. Now if Drainer can manage to find one more that would really push Wolf Snipe into a backing off position. But three minutes left to go right now. And Wolf Snipe is sat in a corner facing a wall just listening. I think we're going to get time back in, though. Here we go. We are back in. Just a little bit of a pho ah, phone call for Wolf Snipe. So not entirely what I just said about listening. But we're back in nonetheless. Nice shots coming there. It's a nice bit of movement that Wolf Snipe does to get up there. Very good little hiding place. In fact, you've got to crouch right into it. Just knowing that you can get up there is quite a nice little trick. Got two minutes left to go, though. Drainer has one frag left to catch up. Looks like this game is going to go very, very close here. Perfect shot from Wolf Snipe opening this back up. Bit of a misstep, a couple of little missed movements, clearly getting a little bit worried about Drainer coming in the back here. And pulling off a comeback. Can't afford to lose this Mega, but also can't afford to lose too much health in this fight. Very low now if Drainer can just land one tiny little shot. Ten health left. Drainer manages to land it but takes quite a bit of damage from Wolf Snipe's spam coming through before managing to land the final hit. Oh, I think Wolf Snipe actually went into the fan there. Looking at the uh, looking at the death message. They are tied for the lead here. Wolf Snipe has the Mega, Drainer comes in, does a decent amount of damage, going to get out of there quite quickly. This one could go to overtime, these guys. They do tend to speed up towards the end of the game, though, these fights, so... It's definitely going to be very close right at the end of this map. Wolf Snipe looking to find... Any sort of damage that he can... Extra armor, that will be helpful. Deny the rail. Grab the mega health. That was some very nice movement. Drainer managed to get out very clean though as well. And 10 seconds left to go. Is there going to be a kill in this fight? Neither player wants to push it too much. Both players now 
just going to try and pull away. They don't want to die right before the overtime. We have the overtime two minutes added. We'll see who's going to manage to grab it. Wolf Snipe doing very well at collecting these Megas. Drain has not been able to get in so much from what it feels like, at least watching this side of the demo. Can be a little bit deceiving sometimes, seeing only one side. And we've got another timeout, so we will be back after the timeout. Alright, we are back into the game. Wolf Snipe, just getting a B-Day present. And now we have a minute left of this overtime. Or just over. But neither player is going to want to push in very quickly. And while I'm live streaming these, both players have turned up in the chat. So it be interesting to see their thoughts on what's going on when they can watch this back. Neither of them wants to really push in all that much. Both just sort of sitting back. Wolf Snipe's going to grab this Mega. Doing a very good job of getting the Mega. And it looks definitely like we're not going to... Or it looks definitely like we are going to get into the next overtime fight here. Wolf Snipe pushes hard. 10 seconds to find Drainer. Finds the kill. So I was entirely wrong about the overtime. It's definitely GG with five seconds left to go. It goes out. And well played to both players. Very close game right in the end there. It got extremely tense. And thank you for watching. If you have got some demos, please send them over to me. Message me on IRC. I am MX Craven most of the time on QuakeNet. Otherwise, find me somehow. Someone will know how to find me if you ask. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.